Hello guys, my name is André and I am from Vintage Retro Games channel on YouTube and uh, this video is a kind of a challenge for my friend from Hatters 2 channel. I'm going to leave uh, his the link of his channel uh, on the description and uh, this challenge is about showing our top three rarest games. So I will show mine first and then he he's going to show his so let's start the video. I hope you like it. Don't forget subscribe to our to our channels and let's start the video. Thanks. Well, my first rarest games the, the, the least of them, the least rare is Mega Man The Wally Wars. Um, I bought it here in Brazil, where I live, some years ago. And although the box is, is not original, the, the, the cartridge, the original cartridge is loose, uh, they printed the cover and then they put it on a plastic box, plastic case. But the, the cartridge is original, and why this game is very, very rare? Because um, this game was never released uh, in U US because it was released in cartridge form only in Europe and then in Japan. Uh, in USA, it was released through Sega Channel, a service, a service of Sega that allowed you to download some games to your Sega Channel and then you could play it all on the Mega Drive console game. And it was the only way to play this game in USA, but in Europe and, and Japan, um, this game was released in cartridge form and this version is the European version. In Japan this game called uh, Rockman Mega World. I had a, a non-original cartridge, Japanese cartridge. Uh, it did not save, but this one it saves. It's working perfectly. So this is my the number three in my top three rarest games. My second rarest game is this one here, uh, Dreamcast 2 for, uh, sorry, Shenmue 2 for Dreamcast. Uh, like uh, Mega Man The Wild Wars, it was never released in US, uh, it was released only in Japan and Europe, and I have my original version of this European game. I finished this game, I beat this game on my Dreamcast and it's working fine. And what I like the most is the, 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 the plastic cases. Although it's broken, it came this way, it's, it's a very nice cover. The CDs are fine, all of them. And since I beat the game, it didn't uh, stop it working, it's working really, really fine. Now let me place this here. You can see here, uh, it's written in lots of European languages like uh, German, uh, what else? Portuguese or not Portuguese? I don't know. What, I know. I don't know what language this is. Um, and we can see that the, this box here is not broken. I think no, it's broken too because I I haven't uh, I didn't open this game for a long time just to, to make this video. But although the the, the case is is broken, the the, the game is perfect. It's working really fine and I finished this game on my Dreamcast. It's uh, my Dreamcast reads 
games, European games, Japanese games, uh, US games, no problem. So I hadn't any problem to, to run this game on my Dreamcast. And then finally, my first, the, the first one of my rarest games, top three rarest games in my collection. This is the most rare, the rarest game I have in my collection. It's Magic Knight Rare. Uh, this game is rare. Why? Because this game was the last game released for Sega Saturn in USA. It was one of the first games released in Japan. It was released in 90... 1995 uh, for Sag Saturn or 94, I don't remember very well. But in USA it was released in 1998 because although Sag Saturn was uh, was not selling very well, very well in the US, uh, fans of the, the anime. Magic Knight Rare, it's a Japanese anime. Uh, the fans wanted this game to be released in the US, so Sega, to, to, to do what they want, uh, Sega released it, although Sega knew that it wouldn't sell well, because Sega Saturn was decreasing its sellings. But since Sega uh, wanted to, to to do what fans wanted for this game, uh, Sega released this game as the, the last game for Sega Saturn in USA. And uh, there were there weren't many copies because, like I said, Sega knew it wouldn't sell very well just to for fans. So they released a few copies, and one of them is this one here. It's that's right, it's very rare. And if you look for this game over the internet to buy it, you won't find this game uh, in a cheap price. It is very expensive. I have this game for about 20 years. I bought it from a friend here in Brazil who was the owner. Who was no, he, he is uh, the owner of a, a, a place that rents uh, rented in the past. Uh, characters, video games, consoles, and uh, nowadays he's only selling games. But 20 years ago he sold me this game. It, it was very cheap. I think I think I paid 15 reais. It was not very expensive. But nowadays it's it's very very expensive. So these were my three worst games. Hatters 2. It's now up to you to show your top three rarest games for us, okay?